want to save your changes, if you click Don't Save, a recent copy of this will be temporarily available. So I'm going to say, um, yeah, don't save it. And so now I'm going to reopen Microsoft Word. And I'm going to reopen that recent document, Phone Inquiry Form. And here it is, without all the stuff in it. And by the way, that little note about a temporary copy is available. If I go to the File tab, and I look here under Manage Versions, here's an old version. We won't be using that right now, but that's what they were talking about. An older version is still available. But that's the version with the name filled in. That's not what I want. So here's my form ready to use. Now I want to save this as a template. And again, the idea of saving it as a template is when I fill in information and I click the Save button, it will not write over my original template. So here's how to save as a template. Going to my File menu, I'm going to choose Save As. I'm going to save it on my computer, although the place that I choose to save it right now is almost unimportant because as I save it as a template, it's going to go somewhere else. So I'm going to say put it on my computer. Maybe I'll say I want to put it right now in my Practice Files for Word folder. So here we are, and here is the actual current version of it right here. But now I don't want to save it as a Word document. I want to save this thing as a Word template. So when I click on Word template, notice it's now going to put it in a totally different folder. That's why I was saying it hardly matters what folder you say you're going to save it in, because as soon as you say you're going to make it a template, it's going to go in this magic folder here. Now, you don't need to know that that folder is called Custom Office Templates that's in the My Documents folder, that's in the Documents folder, that lives in the house that Jack built. Good news is you don't have to know where that is, but let it put it there because that's the place that it will look for our templates later on. So this is going to be our phone inquiry form. Notice the new file name extension. Instead of DOCX for a regular document, it's going to be DOT for template X. Right, I'm clicking Save to save that template. Now, let's remind ourselves how to use templates. I'm going to close this document. I'm going to restart Word. And I'm looking for templates. So here's some templates over at the right-hand side. Every time I open Word, unless I've told it not to show the Start screen, I will see templates but I'm looking for my phone inquiry form, and it's not actually on this list of my featured templates. There is another choice here, personal templates. I click on personal templates. Ah, there's my phone inquiry form. By the way, there's my personalized fax cover sheet from a previous lesson, but I want the phone inquiry form, so I'm going to click on that. Here comes my phone inquiry form, ready to put in a date and choose an agent and fill in the client name and all that kind of stuff. And then once I've filled that in, I can actually click Save, and notice that it's not going to destroy the original. Even though I click Save, I didn't have to worry about Save As, because when I open something from a template and then fill in information, when I click Save, it assumes I want to create a regular document, not destroy the original template. So I would tell it where to store it, maybe on my computer, maybe on my practice files for Word, and I could save this as the call from Ferd Berfel on May 1st. I didn't really fill any information in there, because we've already kind of practiced with it to see what it'll look like. But you just have to make sure that you change the name of it here to reflect that this is a call from a particular person on a particular date, and, um, and you'll be good to go. So that's the idea of setting up a form and making the form so that when you fill it in and click Save, you are not destroying the original form by turning it into a template, opening the template, fill in the information for the person who's calling that one time, and then you can click the Save button and you will not be destroying the template. So for the moment I'm going to cancel out of there, but I'd recommend you fill one in and then actually save that as a separate document. So take a minute, put our video on pause, try out all your controls here, fill it in with some real names, and then click the Save button and save that. Maybe you'd like to make a little folder for your phone inquiry forms but make sure you do change the name of it to reflect who's calling and what day. Putting our video on pause.